All right. You know what? It's football playoff time. That's what I hear? Yes. Nothing so scarier than your season coming to an end. Yeah, you put it all on the line, you know, loser goes home. Unless you're already home, then I guess you just stay don't, there. You just stay there and don't come back yes. for more football for the rest of the year. Uh, but our game of the week featured the Bengals and the Eagles. This is looks like an actual looks like a raven, but it's a bird. The Bengals are on the prowl. Cats love birds. Two weeks ago, Blaine beat Tatino 17 nothing. Looking to do it again. Blaine undefeated. Eagles, they went south with their season two and six. In the first quarter, Jack Herring passed to Damari Porter, or Damian Porter. I don't know how he didn't get in, but they say he's down at the goal line, 28 yards. And then from there, Will Fredrickson, or shall I say Frankenstein, in for the one yard touchdown run. Kick after is good by Ben Greenberg. That's his name. 7 0 Bengals. Then it's the halfback pass from the Eagles trying to score before the half, but Jason, telemarketer call with the interception. Nothing scarier than receiving one of those. 7 0 still. Bengals at the break. On fourth down. Fake punt. Uh, Wolf Glazer to Patrick Doran. They get a 45 yard field goal out of it. The Bengals come back, play action, herring pass to Peyton Downey. More like, won't go Downey. The scrum continues, ends up being 51 yards down inside the seven yard line. That play officially took three minutes and 12 seconds. And then on fourth and goal, Will Frankenstein rushes in the monster. 14 to three, Bengals with a two score lead. The Eagles threatening, but they put it on the turf. And Lucas Becker, that guy's a monster. Gets the fumble recovery, no points for Tatino. Coming back the other way, Herring airs it out for his back. Will Fredrickson, 43 yard gain down the sideline and then it's Ben Greenberg. With a 27 yard field goal, now up 17 to three. Again, the Eagles drive down there in the red zone threatening to score, but the pass is intercepted by Tony or Boney Strand and the defense comes up big again, only giving up three points. They win 17 to three. The big cats swallow the birds. The Bengals stay undefeated. I was just in the right place at the right time. Like our coaches had a great scan report on them and put me in the right place. And we knew it was gonna be a battle on the ground. Like we, we were expecting this weather and we wanted it to be a battle on the ground. And we knew that our D-backs in the backfield could just make plays because we're athletic and we knew that we were in the right, we were in the right spot. Absolutely. I mean, my guys were uh, making catches and Jack was making some great throws and some great reads. And when we got down there, coach just said, we need to get this in. And our line did it. I, I, it wasn't a lot by me. It was all the line. And they're getting a push up there and doing, they're doing a great job. And I, I can't give more thanks to them. I mean, they're doing what they need to do and uh, it's really helping out. Uh, so I'm just doing what I can. Bengals are rolling right now. They are scary good. good. Big victory for them, and uh, Fredrickson, he ends up with uh, two scores on the ground. Big pass reception as well. Downey 73 yards receiving for him and Herring, once again getting the job done on the ground and in the air. And just a blank box on the other side because the Bengals were that good. Yeah, well, and the Bengals were that scary that they couldn't even show up with the stats. The game Frank wasn't that scary. Nope. A win for yeah. the Bengals. If you're a Bengal fan, you're liking that. Their season continues. They move on to play, to, uh, play and yes. host Prior Lake. And if you're watching this, you're probably not a Tatino Grace Eagle fan, so you're okay hey. with the Bengals moving on. They might be. They you might be. Know. Might be. Might be. 